so literally one of the first people here at the moment there's not many people but inshallah people will come soon you can see like literally there's like a stage here <laughs> there's like a stage here my friends from islam channel over there that's why i was being a bit weird so you've got like the stage in the background and everything there's lots of volunteers mashallah uh let's just hope that the turnout similar to the palestinian march i mean that would be absolutely incredible فيقول الذين ظلموا ربنا أخذنا إلى أجل فيقول الذين ظلموا ربنا أخذنا إلى أجل قريب نجب I'm a Hong Konger from Hong Kong and they took my human rights away they took my free freedom away and a lot of my friends and relatives are living in fear and I am living in fear because you see uh, first I'm sorry about my face because uh, if I show my face you know what happened to dissidents who speak out against them in China. So that's why I still put this on and also they can intimidate my relatives. Even if I don't go back or my friends, if they know who I am. So yes. Even being here today, are you scared that oh, something might happen? If, if you do this in China, it's life imprisonment. Wow. You know Liu Xiaobo, he is the Nobel Prize winner. And he's passed away now, but he spent decades in prison just to speak out. You all know that since my return and release from Guantanamo Bay, I have been fighting against the torturous and oppressive policies of the so-called war on terrorism that has in de facto terms targeted you and the Muslim community around the world. When I was held in Guantanamo, I was held with 22 Uyghurs from East Turkestan in China the Xinjiang province and they say every single one of those Uyghurs who were held and tortured by the Americans they say thank God thank Allah that we were not handed over to the Chinese despite the torture and the abuse that I have been fighting for 15 years I stand in front of you today to say that what the Chinese government has done in the name of the war on terrorism because Xi Jinping, the leader of China has used and utilized the language of George Bush's war on terrorism in order to enable this genocide of the Muslims in East Turkestan you know me and Cage have been campaigning against uh, the Islamophobia for all of this time and we say that Islamophobia in this country and beyond is rampant Yet the Uyghurs say, we wish, we wish that we suffered the kind of Islamophobia that you do in the West. Imagine that for context. Imagine being forced to renounce your Shahada. Imagine being forced to learn the Chinese Communist Party manifesto in place of Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Imagine that for a second. Imagine being forced to drink alcohol. Imagine being forced to eat pork. Imagine being sent to a concentration camp and your children being sent to an orphanage while your, the child's parents are alive. That's what this government is doing. And finally, I will say this. Most of us here, a, a large number of us, come from Muslim countries. And it is to our shame that the leaders of the Muslim world didn't only not condemn the Chinese government for what it did, it endorses, they endorse the Chinese government's treatment of the Uyghurs. That is a shame for every single Muslim that stands here, you must send a message back to those governments. We stand here today in London, united together, our different creeds and colours, our different organisations, our different backgrounds and age groups and we stand as one and we say no to genocide, no to torture, no to oppression. Tabi! Allahu Akbar! Tabi! Allahu Akbar! Tabi! Allahu Akbar! Stop! Stop! Genocide! Stop! Stop! Genocide! Stop! Stop! Genocide! Stop! Stop! Genocide! Stop the Uyghur genocide! China 
Mother China, you can't hide. Stop the Uyghur genocide. What do we want? When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. This demonstration today has taken too many years to happen. For too many years, our brothers and sisters, the Uyghur Muslims of East Turkestan, have been choking under the crushing boot of Chinese tyranny. For too many years, they have been packed into concentration camps, murdered and made to work in slave labor. The Uyghur women are facing sexual violence and systematic gang rapes in their prisons. Forced sterilizations to decrease their birth rates. And, forced wo and, and women are forced to have relationships with Han's men while their husbands are in Chinese prisons. And when they have cried out to the international community, to the Muslim countries to help them, for too many years, all they received was the sad emptiness of silence. Every single person standing here today has a duty and responsibility to make at least 10 other people aware of the Uyghur genocide. So fill your universities with talk of the Uyghur genocide. Fill your WhatsApp groups with information about the Uyghur genocide. Mobilize your friends and acquaintances against the Uyghur genocide. Fill your homes and your mosques with dua against the Uyghur genocide. 